Two months ago, nine people were gunned down by a deranged co-worker at the Valley Transportation Authority in San Jose. And marking the grim anniversary was a church group dedicated to preserving the memory of crime victims while offering prayer for their families. Crown 4's Rob Flatabo has more on this story. He's live tonight in San Jose. Rob? That's right, Grant. Uh, the community is not likely to forget anytime soon what happened here uh, uh, two, uh, two weeks ago this morning here at the VTA rail yard. Uh, but th today there were stories and uh, prayers to help us remember the people who perished here on that terrible day. Let's take a look. Singh was born in India and was raising his family in Union City. He worked for VTA for 14 years and was a light rail operator. Just outside the still shuttered entrance to the VTA rail yard, the San Jose Diocese Victim Street Ministry gathered to pray for the victims of those murdered here by a co-worker two months ago today. Holding a sign bearing the names of all nine victims was Claudia Buchner. We realized that it, it's like a tidal wave of, of people being involved. It's, it, it, it's just so many. The Victim Street Ministry is dedicated to calling attention to the stories behind the names of all murder victims in the community, sharing stories and memories of each of the VTA 9, and calling on the community to remember those names was group leader Lee Campbell. You know, life goes by quick enough as it is. Uh, these guys went to work that day not knowing that would be their last day. So. We're here to remember them uh, and, not, and to not forget, yes. Echoing that sentiment was Roberta Fitzpatrick, whose great niece was murdered in 2005. Even after the court things are over and uh, the public is finished, the family still struggle and uh, I just don't want them forgotten. The names of all nine victims also read aloud. Prayers included shooter Samuel Cassidy, whose murderous rampage touched the lives of countless family members and friends. They too must not be forgotten, said Claudia Buchner. We, we believe that the people who are, are gone are uh, resting safely in the arms of God, but we do want mercy and compassion to come down uh, upon all those who are um, left behind, their loved ones. We, we want them to know that they are loved and we will never forget. And as you can see, the VTA rail yard here has been shut down uh, for the past two months, not two weeks, uh, two months since this uh, shooting occurred. There's been some talk that uh, the building should be raised or torn down and a monument erected in its place. Uh, probably too soon to make a call on that. Meantime, the light rail itself also shut down now for two months and probably won't be running again until the first part of next month, if not later. Live in San Jose, Rob Flatabo, Crown 4 News. Thank you.